Hello, South by Southwest interactive audience. I'm Trent Walker, and I am a user experience executive at Spotify. Uh, today I'm going to tell you what Spotify is, if, uh, I'm going to tell you about its competitors, and I'm going to tell you why you need it. I'd like to start out with a quick story. Uh, a few years ago, a friend came up to me, and he had just gotten back home from a trip to Norway, and he was visiting his family there. And Europe got Spotify a lot earlier than America did, so we came back raving about it, telling me how you could listen to all this free music whenever you wanted, and they had all the songs and all this cool stuff, and I totally disregarded it because I didn't believe it, it was too good to be true. A few years later, it came to America, and it was true, and Spotify is awesome, and I'm going to tell you all about it so that you don't forget about Spotify as well. So, what is Spotify? Spotify is an online streaming music service. That means that you don't download anything or listen to it over the internet. You can listen to it on your computer or you can listen to it on a mobile device. It has iPhone and Android apps. Also, Spotify just recently introduced a radio service. So, what are, um, so this is what Spotify looks like on the desktop. It's very similar to iTunes and other listening services. You have your playlist here and kind of like a market even though it's free. And something that's different about Spotify is on the right, you have a list of friends and what songs they've been listening to. That'll also show up on your Facebook. So Spotify connects with Facebook, and no other music services do that. So I'm it's sorry. a great way to, yeah. Does it have distracting advertisements? If you have the free version, it has audio. <coughs> okay. um, so it's a great way to share music with friends. And this is what it looks like on your phone very clean, just like on iTunes basically, you have your pause, your play, forward, back, change song. So Spotify's main competition is going to be downloading services, which is expensive, it's 99 cents a song, or 129 a song if it's iTunes. You can also steal your music, and that's illegal and we all feel bad about that I hope. So that's not good. And internet radio is probably the best comparison and Pandora is the best internet radio. So I'm going to tell you why Spotify radio is better than Pandora radio. First of all, Pandora doesn't tell you how many skips you have left before you get an advertisement. So if you're listening to a bad song and you don't want to listen to an advertisement, you don't know if you should skip or not. Spotify is going to give you a countdown. You always have five skips. Um, another thing is that Pandora has visual ads and before you can interact with the actual app, you need to exit out of those ads every time. Uh, Spotify only has audio ads. Unless you have the premium version, no ads at all. Also, Spotify has 16 times more songs, which when we're talking about millions of songs, that's a huge difference. Also, Pandora doesn't connect to Facebook. Spotify does. So, why do you need Spotify? Spotify has all the features of the other music listening services all combined into one. So you don't need to go anywhere else, you just use Spotify. It's also the most convenient. I can pull out my phone right now and listen to a song, any song in the world I want, immediately. And you can't do that with any other service. Also, Spotify supports the artists you love. That means that artists actually do get paid. According to Ditto Music, Adele gets paid on average up to two cents per stream from premium users. And that's actually a lot of money. Of course, the less popular artists aren't going to get paid that much, but it promotes longevity and it takes away from that single culture that a lot of popular artists have where they have one song that costs 99 cents and they're only popular for a week. This way, it's important for them to come out with lots of good songs that you're going to want to listen to for years. So these are the different versions of Spotify. For free, you get to listen to it on your desktop with the advertisements. The unlimited version, which is $4.99, takes away those advertisements. And the premium version, which is $9.99, comes with all the other features, and you can listen to it on mobile. And the radio is not going to have any advertisements, visual or audio. So what I talked about was what Spotify is, I talked about its competitors, and I talked about why you need it. So if you like what you heard here today, and you have your mobile phone, you can pull it out and download the Spotify app and sign up for the premium version. If you don't have it with you, you can go home today and look it up on your desktop, spotify.com, and download it there. Thank you. Any questions? Yes. How much does it cost?